On my way to Manly, Balgawa sort of area, to do a swim this morning. I think I'm in a weird place at the moment, and I thought that this might be a good idea to sort of like literally feel like I'm being rebirthed. I think that's what I need. So I'm going to go for a swim. I brought my journal, my manifesting book, um, and then I'm going to go grab a coffee by myself at. Effie's a little cafe after and just like romanticize my life and my morning because that's what I need right now <laughs> I'm gonna listen to a podcast and I'll see you when we're there. Bye We met outside the crowded bar her eyes were bright, her stare was dark The words she spoke were straight oh from her The oh, more I so much we like talked, the more I thought What if she's just what I wanna be? Maybe she's just a happier version of me It's tough living right out and I also helped her. What else did I help? I also helped her. Uh... Did you have to squat down because you're so tall? Okay. So guys, this is what I did is I helped Lily. Come with me to cut a carrot. Come with me to cut a carrot. Hey, hi. Oh, the quality is actually not that low. Peace. 
peaches in the afternoon After all the friends went home Feet on the couch as I sat alone That's fun thing at the moment where I'm feeling really ugly. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like it's particularly in the mornings when I feel like quite inflated and I just need like a gua sha to like do that to but I just can't be bothered. I'm also naturally waking up which is nice early but maybe I need more sleep. I don't fucking know. Anyway we're going for a walk to probably Clavelli. Get a coffee and like a bakery good. A baked good and then head back up and then we've got Harry's like in contact with the person who uses the glass island and he's gotten me and all the cousins free admission to go which is good and we're all gonna have a hoot and a boot except it does start at 1 p.m so I think everyone's coming to ours at 11 30 which is like I haven't done that like had a little sip of in a very long time so I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go down I'm gonna make sure I eat something fulfilling so that I don't want I don't drink that much. Anyway, come along for the ride today. It's going to be a good day and I'll see you later. degrees but it's not unbearable when you're close to the ocean it's not as bad he's just so musical he's always making some sort of music he also doesn't know what I'm saying right now Hi everyone, I feel like it's chitty chat chat, chitty chat time. Oh my God, I look clapped. I was pretty much, this whole vlog was like for the purpose of like, 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 I hate that. The purpose of this vlog was kind of to capture me without me even knowing it. Like the way I kind of got out of feeling uncomfortable and weird about being back home and nothing changing. Obviously that classic like, oh, you come back from a year of holiday, but mine wasn't like, oh my God, I've changed. It was more like what happens now? Like this big thing, this big event that has so much hype and you just like get back to reality. So the kind of things that helped me the most was like writing on the journal, like writing my journal on the way over, stuff I'm looking forward to, to get me excited to be back home was like, go for a swim at, I literally still have the list and I'm pretty sure I did most of that in the vlog. I did, yeah, here we go, what I wanna do in Sydney. Wiley's baths, which is what I did. I didn't do a kill care trip. Um, Pina breakfast, I didn't record, but I did go there. Catch up with cousins and extended family, which is what I did on the boat. Edit YouTube videos at a nice cafe, which I did. Walk in Cavelli, which I'm doing currently. Work three days a week instead of four, which is what I'm doing. Everything 
I wanted to do is kind of on there so that feels really good to know that I actually stuck to that and I feel like that helped me have like a drive to want to do that too um just for anyone out there who's struggled I'm kind of cringing at myself being like coming back from Europe is hard it's like get over it you were lucky enough to go to Europe I know privilege whatever but I do think that it is a weird phase coming back and being like in your 20s and like figuring out where the fuck you go from there especially me not going to uni and stuff yet I kind of feel like I have more of an idea now maybe uni is something I want to do next year if you're in a similar similar place when you come back from traveling just know that a lot of people go through it I feel like lots of my friends had the same thing everybody who comes back that I've heard stories of is like how are you adjusting and I struggled massively. I'm really glad I'm not there anymore. I'm kind of like used to this, but I just wanted to be real. It's so weird to think back to the start of this vlog where I was compared to now is actually changed. And that just comes with time too. Cause that first video was recorded a while away, a while ago. So yeah, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys so that you feel like you're not alone. Even though there's literally like, I don't know if anyone relates. Okay, I need to stop judging myself. Ugh. This is our last night. By the way, I don't know if I, I must have written, written this in the vlog, but I'm staying at my cousin's apartment. It's our last night here. It's been a really good trip. Good experiment to see what it would be like to live here. Highly rate it. A bit hilly. I have a really strong hate against hills. I've realized I really don't like hills. So I'll try and live in a flat suburb because it makes me want to go outside more when there's flat because I'm lazy and fat and I'm joking. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. I'm trying to be more consistent, but it's hard, but I'm working now. Let's see if Harry's got anything to say. Goodbye to the vlog. Leave them with a word of wisdom. I think.